fix your chainsaw, all you need is a power sharp and the top. The first I have is a steel 200T with the Oregon power sharp on here. Fixing any chainsaw, there are two parts to it. The cutting system and the power. It's right over the end. Now you have a nice sharp saw. Take off the Oregon then power you want sharp. Check tightness. This is actually a little too loose. We use a top saw. Loosen up the bar nut. Use a big screwdriver to tighten the bar up. I like my chain about that tight. That's good. Make sure you really crank this bar nut tight when you're done. You want the oil to drain, the bar oil to drain, at the same time the fuel chain. It's a small fuel screwdriver. Drives. Turn it towards the bigger, bigger part of the arrow. And no oil. So that's it for the cutting system. Power sharp. Tighten it up with the top saw. Make sure it's oiling well. Next, I'll come over here to the Husqvarna to show you about the power head. It's a different brand saw. Same thing, this is a 13, so I'd use the other socket to work on the chain and cutting system. On the power head, there are three key things. Fuel, air, and spark. So start with the fuel. And then in that fuel tank, we're gonna use a bar groove clean out tool. Pull out the fuel filter, inspect it. If it's really dirty, it needs to be replaced. You wanna make sure you always have fresh gas with a good mix. Follow the manufacturer's direction. We'll go over to air. On the front here is the air filter. Use a big screwdriver again. Pull off the air filter cover. There's the air filter. I just tap it out. And these husky air filters, they get a lot, a lot of sawdust down in here. I just kind of very, very gently clean out all the built up sawdust and the grooves. Put a nice snug fit back in here. Make sure the housing's nice and clean so that sawdust doesn't go in there. Actually, what I do before I clean out the air filters, I choke it and that closes the carb to make sure that um, no dust falls into the carb. Last is a spark plug. The back of this Husky is a four millimeter bolt. Go to the four millimeter hex. Loosen up this cover. To get the cover off, pull out the plug cap. I'm gonna use a 19 millimeter to loosen up the plug. Oh. Nice feature how it opens up. So you kind of speed wrench it. Pull out the plug and inspect it. Make sure it's a good gap and it's not too fouled. It's good to use a new plug, but it, it'll still work for a while yet. Put the plug back in. You're ready to go. So again, you got the cutting system with the Oregon Power Sharp and the top saw, and then the engine. You got fuel, clean fuel, clean fuel filter, air, clean air filter, and good spark. That's all you need to run. I also like to do a good visual inspection to make sure all of the bolts are nice and tight. Um, these saws take a beating, and so things loosen up. Uh, so I just occasionally Oregon Power Sharp. The top saw, that's all you need to maintain and fix any chainsaw.